Hello, so the Mushy and Shroom release event, uh, Mind of the Old Grove, is live. And um, there is one uh, really nasty surprise at this event that uh, honestly is pissing off a lot of players, myself included, and that is the Mushy and Shroom skins. Like, so she has not one, but two skins in these stupid bundles that cost 3,500 each, 3,500 coins each, and says guaranteed after 30 chests. So that means you're probably going to have to buy probably close to 60 of these. I mean, just to get them, like, maybe you might get a bit lucky, like, 30 is probably, like, super unlucky, like, if you're, but, uh, 3,500 each, though, that is 21, let's see, 60 times 3,500, what is that, 2,000 and 210,000 coins? My math's right, I think it's 210,000 coins, uh, if you're sad, that is a lot of coins, like, you're not, you would have to do max out all quests on this event to get that many, like, all quests... I mean, spending the whole 220,000, or 120,000 emeralds, um, like, I don't have that many, like, I might have to claim a 3x on this one, like, it's, I don't know if she's, how good she's gonna be, or not. I don't know if she's gonna be, like, a really good hero or not, like, and we only have a week before this event's over, uh, to test this stuff, to test this, this is, like, they've never done this before, like, this is supposed to be a sequel to Alvinar's Awakening event, but when Alvinar's Awakening event happened, um, you could buy his skin, uh, for just 17,500 coins. Like, it was just there. He's just, uh, said Alvinor Spring Skin. 17,500 coins. Right? And, of course, you could always say, always buy it. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I actually bought it there. But, like, you could also buy it, just buy it for Skin Stones. You could just unlock it normally as Skin Stones. Like, there was, like I said, you could just do that with the, with the Spring Skin. Like, right here, actually, right here. Yeah, you, I didn't buy it, so. You can literally just buy it. Like, you could buy this on day one with Skin Stone instead of using your event coins. But if you wanted to use event coins, it was only 17,000. Uh, it was only 17,500 coins. This might cost you 105,000. You won't even get to choose which skin. But uh, here's the thing. This is a health skin, and she's a tank. Missing a health skin on a tank is, like, no bueno. Like, you can't, this is a must-have skin. And, uh, well, I haven't summoned her yet, but I did have a guild leader, a guild, sorry, guild, a guild mate send me a screenshot of what happens, like, if it's uh, locked or not, and it does say it's locked. Let's tab over. Like, as you can see, it says, was available a special event, was available a special event, so, like, this is, you gotta buy these skins, like, yeah, if Mushy and Shroom ends up being, like, a good tank, like, you kind of have to have these skins. Like, the health one, the magic pen skin, like, magic penetration, like, on Aurora's, look, like, really good, like, I mean, if what if she's, like, the next, like, best tank in the game? I have no idea. Like, I haven't tested her yet. Like, we should, this event literally launched, like, two hours ago, and I'm trying to figure out all this stuff. And, like, this is a huge problem. Like, we've, like, said, they've been, like, really pushing more and more. Like, like the Stellar Skins was, like, a first huge first red flag. Actually, no. No, the Eternal Summer Season was the first red flag. When you have, like, exclusive skins that are unobtainable otherwise like normal ways like it just because it creates imbalances in the game like this game already has huge problems with balance they need to fix those balance problems instead of fixing the balance problems they're creating more things that ru that create an unbalanced game that actually ruins the game so it's like said it just said it's just a disaster and uh yeah no they really they really need to rethink this because uh this is not the way. This is just going to drive more people away. I mean, we already have a situation here on Server 74 Facebook. That server is going to be a year old in April. It is going to be a year old in April. Um, let me type back to the game. Um, it's going to be a year old in April. Like, if you go to the server, like, this is the newest server. Under Server 74. That is the newest server. That server was launched back in, like, April of 2022. They haven't opened another new server because nobody's joining the game anymore. This game is not getting new players. It's, sta it's become stagnant. It's not getting new players. Players are quitting faster than they are joining. And, uh, it's like, this is, like I said, just going to speed that process up. It's not going to you know, help the population of this game. This game has a, this game has a population going one way and that is down. Like it's, you know, it's starting to, like I said, last couple months starting to see some signs that maybe it's going to start turning around. Looked like I was starting to see more new players in like the comments, of my videos started to look like they'd starting to look up and then they pull garbage like this that are right. Antithetical to like actually growing this game, actually improving this game. I mean, Yo, go look at what happened to Hasbro. Hasbro's talk stock have tanked massively because they got too greedy with Magic the Gathering. Like, that's, that's a thing that happened. Like, you can't get too greedy on gotcha games. And, uh, they're trying to get too greedy here. Like, right, this is just driving players away. People are already mad. 
because we have yet another new hero after just two we just had two new heroes in December we've had multiple new Titan releases over the last several months like there's just been all this new stuff people are already overwhelmed they already feel like they're adding way too much stuff to the game and then they do this to make it so these skins are so much hard so hard to obtain like now you got to spend an extra you know, a whole lot of money. 200,000 coins is a lot. Like, you probably have to buy bundles. Like, honestly, you're probably going to buy a bundle. These bundles are going to have a lot of uh, emeralds in them. So you pretty much have to buy... So here you go. $225, that's what it costs. Or you could do the quests. Um, like, how many's on the spend emeralds? So, 45,000... You probably get about 180,000 coins. So if you did all the quests, you'd probably get it from doing all the quests. Like that is going to have to be the thing you buy from the shop. Like if you want to actually get mushroom shroom souls, sorry guys. Um, to buy, buy like 10 dolls, hope you get her, or you could just unlock 3,000 and then get the, get the coins lighter, or just buy the, or just buy these and, uh, there's no, there's no skins in these. They could have just put the skin stones in these same bundles. That would have been nice if you could add skin stones in these bundles. In like sets or something instead buying them, so you have to buy two different things. But pretty much just get her two star. They try to get her uh, absolute star later. I don't like. I don't know. It's this is this is really bad because you're not going to be able to absolute star her and get her skins without spending like hundreds of dollars. Absolutely impossible. Like this is like I said, this is a disaster. Um. <sighs> yeah. No, I'm I'm frustrated. But uh, yeah. No, you could like I said not too much more to say on that. Um, I'll probably do another video about specifically the shop or unless they decide to course correct which i doubt but we can always hope but uh yeah no you can check out my full video though on the mind of the old grove event below as always thank you for watching